Welcome. Using this demo, we will present to you one of the possible usages of our product T-Logic Monitoring for SOA, abbreviated to Timon. Timon is a central log handling tool having the main function to process the log messages arriving from individual components of processes spanning multiple systems and to display those in an easy to interpret way even for business users. This way, it is possible to monitor on the Daemon interface the statuses of individual process instances, where, in which component they ran on error, respectively how much time they spent in the individual components. Due to its functions, Daemon can be used efficiently for debugging in production or during integration testing, respectively for creating and displaying statistics for audit or other purposes. In this example, let's consider the complex SOA system of a fictive bank where the components and services send XML-based log messages to the logging service, following the hierarchy implemented when planning the logging and based on the correct logging methodology. In the demo, we will review the functions for debugging and location identification based on received log messages. In a system having many applications, services and components that usually run on several platforms, the XML-based logging can be ensured in practically all system components. The messages sent in an asynchronous way do not block the component performing the logging that can be either a background system, an SOA service or an application that has been prepared to perform the logging. Messages arriving from such components can be viewed on the Timon interface. By default, this interface consists of three panels following the hierarchy of messages, where in the first panel we can see the processes defined during planning, in the second one the steps belonging to the processes, typically services in a SOA architecture, and in the third one the individual log messages associated to the given process steps. The same amount of information will not satisfy all users. An auditor, an operator, a help desk employee or a developer will be interested in other information and with different priorities. Let's modify the properties of the process panel. Let's change the order of columns. The first column will be the identificator of the process Action ID. Followed by the identificator of the customer, customer ID. The identificator of the agent, user ID. Then followed by the process status. Applying the modifications, we can see that the changes are effective. In order to preserve the settings, those can be saved in a profile using the Save Settings menu item. Let's name it My Profile. These profiles can be prepared essentially for each user type. Let's imagine the situation that an operations employee uses the Timon Viewer interface and wants to determine the location and reason of the error based on an error report. In order to do this, she would like to list the processes that ran on error. The erroneous processes can be listed using the status quick filter. By selecting the failed status, this way the panel displays the processes in error. The first process is related to cash withdrawal. Selecting this, we can see in the process steps panel that it involved a user identification. Selecting this process step, the log messages panel displays the log messages associated to it. The content of the messages can be viewed by selecting the show message item from the pop-up menu.
it can be determined from the log message that the client identification was performed within the cache withdrawal that has been executed by the user named Manzi and that ran on error. This way we have identified the location of the error and we can trace back the exact cause from the error message.